Hello Booktube, I'm in need of a pick-me-up, so what better way than doing a tag? So today I will be doing the uh, science fiction Booktube tag. This tag was created by Matt of Man with a Hat Who Reads, and I saw it on um, MJ of Reading This Life and Greg of Another Bibliophile Reads his channel. So I'll leave links to all three channels in the show notes below, as well as a copy of the prompts, and of course, a list of the books I mentioned in this tag because this is one of those uh, pull down a book tag rather than a newsy tag which have also been quite popular lately anyway so let's get going um prompt number one okay so the prompts are based on quotes from sci-fi movies so like prompt number one, Welcome to Earth, is from Independence Day. Uh, so the prompt is a novel about an alien invasion. So for this prompt, I went with um, The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. This is a fantasy novel in which uh, cities, once they reach a certain point, uh, become self-aware and a resident of that city becomes its avatar. However, at this point, um, an extra-dimensional um, city um, at launches an attack on this awakening city, trying to prevent it from awakening. Um, if the attack is successful, um, a natural disaster will occur in the city. If it's not, then the um, city will basically wake up as and have an avatar who can control aspects of the city. Um, the novel is set in New York and features um, the awakening of New York. However, when um, the attack happens, um, New York is able to fight it off, but not completely. And New York is rendered comatose, and um, the five boroughs, eventually six boroughs of New York, um, wake up to kind of to help fully fend off the attack. Although even that is uh, not successful, since this is the first book in a duology. Um, so yeah, the city is the attacking city is Rala the. Uh, Lovecraftian creation that is home to Cthulhu. And this is the only N.K. Jemisin novel I sort of enjoyed. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that was my answer to prompt number one. I don't really have much in the way of alien invasion stories. Um, that would quite work for this particular prompt. But anyway. Um, prompt number two. Life Finds a Way. Um, Jurassic Park. A novel where science runs amok. So I picked a Blackfish City by Sam J. Miller. This is a relatively near future um, science fiction novel set on a city-state um, oil rig. Um, and part of the story is about this um, language memory virus that is part technological, I think, um, that is basically a version of AIDS or inspired by AIDS. And a number of characters in the story have it. And it, if I remember correctly, the um, virus is a product of uh, science run amok. Prompt number three. May the odds be ever in your favor. The Hunger Games. A novel about a dystopian Earth. Um... I, I'm not a huge fan of dystopian fiction, so I don't really have any in my collection that would really fit the prompt. I could have gone to my history shelves, 
because I think that could have worked, but I wanted to focus on fiction for this one and science fiction and fantasy novels. So I went with The Stand by Stephen King. Um, this is a epic fantasy set on Earth in which a plague, um, a virus has wiped out 90% um, of the human population and the survivors in the United States have begun to congregate into um, new societies. One based in Boulder, which is um, the pretty much the good people are congregating there and the evil people are congregating in Las Vegas. And um, Las Vegas becomes a dystopian hellscape. And of course, this is post-apocalyptic, which I think kind of sort of counts for this prompt, or at least that's what I got from Greg's video. Um, prompt number four. These aren't the droids you're looking for, Star Wars. A novel about robots. I don't really have anything specifically about robots, so I went with artificial intelligence for this uh, prompt, and I selected Consider Flibus by INM Banks. This is the first of the culture novels a post-scarcity um, anarcho-Marxist society. And this is a novel set during the Idarian culture war, um, in which the culture went to war with a, another species. Um, during the conflict, a mind, a super-intelligent, um, super-advanced um, artificial intelligence that largely rules the culture, um, ends up uh, fleeing from an Idiran attack and winds up on a planet of the dead. And the plot of the novel is um, two competing uh, teams trying to find this mine and rescue it. And of course, since mines are artificial intelligences, I think they would count here. Uh, prompt number five. Platu Parada Nikto, The Day the Earth Stood Still, a novel where immortality, resurrection plays a part. So for this, I went with uh, fantasy. Uh, the City of Lost Fortunes by Brian Camp. This is a novel set, in, it's an urban fantasy set in New Orleans, and it's about a man named Jude Dubasson, who is a demigod. He um, has the ability to find lost things and during the course of the novel, he is invited to a, a poker game with gods. And as a result of this poker game and um, the subsequent sort of investigation, he ends up murdered. And a good chunk of the novel is his resurrection and how he goes about doing it. Um, so this is a really good novel. I quite like it. Um, prompt number five, number six. E.T. Phone Home, obviously E.T., um, a novel about space travel. So for this one, I went with Frank Herbert's Dune. Now you would be wondering, why did I pick Dune? Isn't the entire novel set on Arrakis? Well, yes, it is. But the thing about Dune is that it's all about space travel because um, the, um, I mean, of course, uh, the novel is about the House Atreides, who is given the planet Arrakis um, as a fee from the Emperor, and is later attacked and defeated by House Harkonnen. Um, most of the family and their retainers are killed, except for Paul and his mother, who uh, flee into the desert. Um, they make common cause with the native inhabitants, the Fremen, and they eventually rise up and defeat the Harkonnens and um, the Emperor. But the thing about Arrakis is that um, the planet is valuable because it produces um, a drug, melange, or the spice, which um, has mind-altering capabilities that allow various um, paranormal or supernormal ability to flourish in humans, including uh, the ability of foresight, 
which allows for the Spacing Guild navigators to um, safely navigate um, spaceships um, in F through FTL. Um, in the setting, um, artificial intelligences are banned. Um, so any sort of higher uh, computation, any higher mathematics would have to be done by humans. And the spice, the drug melange, allows um, this uh, these computations to occur. And the seventh prompt is I'll be back, The Terminator, a novel about time travel. So this one was difficult as well because I don't really have anything that is specifically about time travel. But um, I remembered Space Opera by Catherine and Valenti um, does have a time travel element. So Space Opera is a novel that draws its inspiration from Eurovision. So in this setting, um, every few years, um, various alien societies come together and basically have a interstellar version of Eurovision. And humanity has just been contacted and are forced to join. And if humanity ends up losing the um, competition, the planet gets glassed. It gets destroyed. Um, and so... For some reason, um, two uh, relatively minor band get selected and they travel to where the uh, competition is taking place. However, one of the band members died um, decades ago. And in order for them to fully compete, the um, aliens go back in time to collect her before her death um, to, so she can complete the group. So that's that. Um, and finally, prompt number eight, tag some friends. If you'd like to do this tag, consider yourself tagged. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this tag really picked me up. Because um, as I was selecting these books, I was thinking, this might be the last time they appear on a tag or in video until... I do an unhaul because except for like City of Lost Fortunes, I think I could probably and Dune unhaul um, a good chunk of these. Because I was thinking, I'm so surprised I still have any Stephen King in my collection. I would have thought I would have gotten rid of it by now. But anyway, so yeah. So hopefully tomorrow. Um, of course, will be weekly reads. I don't know if it'll be an early week, weekly reads like it has been or a later one. It depends how far I get in on Death Note. Um, I'm getting towards the end, but I still have about 30 chapters to go. So I don't know if I'll... I probably won't be able to finish today. So it'll probably be a later weekly reads. And if that's the case, then I will try to do... A video tomorrow. I don't know if it would be a tag video or a video on writing. I really want to do a video on writing, but it's a bit difficult. So, anyway. Yeah. So, new booktube until I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.